This 32 NFL draft props edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet ten dollars at WinBet and get two hundred dollars in free bets. Bet big, win bigger with WinBet. Download the WinBet app now or visit wynnbet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Coors Light. Get Mountain Cold refreshment delivered straight to your door via Drizzly or Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com. Slash SGP. That's CoorsLight.com. Slash SGP. We're also brought to you by Stable Duel. Stable Duel is a horse racing DFS app where you can play free and paid games for real cash prizes. You can win as much as forty thousand dollars with one entry. Head over to StableDuel.com to get started today. We're also brought to you by PropSwap, America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Use promo code SGP on your first deposit to receive up to five hundred dollars in bonus cash. Head over to PropSwap.com or download the PropSwap app today. And we're giving away five hundred dollars in our NFL draft props contest. Just go to sportsgamblingpodcast dot com slash draft or click the contest tab in the SGPN app. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer? dog. Oh, Sean, it's draft week, which can only be one mean one thing. We're just going to speculate. It's soap opera week. We're going to talk about news. We're going to talk about what an interview guy said. We're going to talk about what a beat reporter said. We're going to talk about who the wife prefers. Maybe that was just the Carolina gimmick, perhaps. <laughs> Matt Rule, who's running shop down there? Yes, we are uh, first ever. We came up with this idea. <laughs> we're going ever. to do a NFL draft of NFL oh. draft props, which means by the time you finish this episode, you will have <laughs> 32 NFL draft props to bet on. 32 actionable NFL draft props to bet on, and it is. Why uh, do you say actionable? <laughs> Well, you can you can put them into work. Well, other shows give out non-actionable props ah, too. They, right? they give hey, you Sean, I got this prop theory. two weeks ago. Uh, we got the, no, nothing worse. No, they nothing talk about worse. oh, we had this uh, three weeks ago. It was great CLV. <laughs> yeah, it's still losers. We're giving you straight winners, baby. Oh man, so much to get to. And first off, uh, we are also giving away five hundred dollars in our own mm. NFL draft props contest. Very easy to get going. Are we charging a cover charge no, for that? Completely no. free. Massive EV opportunity. Zero dollars. Five hundred dollars goes to first. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash draft or the uh, contest tab in the SGP and app. That'll get you going there. Oh, let's let's oh, I almost hit the uh Little Freudian slip. There you go. Listen to that NFL music blast. And of course, if you're getting down on the NFL or the NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs, so much action over on the Win Betting app. Download that Win Betting app or just go to winbet.com. They got a ton of uh, great NFL draft props up there already. Of course, the bet $10, get $200 in free bets promotion. That's awesome. 100% deposit bonus at the WinBet Casino, up to $1,000. And of course, their same game parlays with the win. Uh, build your own bet feature. Three, If you do a three teamer uh, between Thursday and Saturday, get a nice uh, $20 free play on that as well. Get. Download the WinBet app. Visit wynnbet.com to get started today. Bet big, win bigger with WinBet. Offer subject to change terms and conditions at winbet.com. Plus, be 21 or older and present in the state where playthrough room does available. If you're someone who knows a game of Bronco, 1 800 522 4700. Right, and this is officially the start of draft week. I'm going to crack open a nice cold Coors light to kick off draft week. We're going to be doing a live week of shows from the blue wire studios in beautiful Las Vegas. There at the win. We have uh, Chris long will be a scheduled Mm. guest. We're going to will Blackman uh, also possible. Some more NFL guests 
uh, should be uh, coming on. And again, make sure while you're enjoying the draft, crack open, get some drafts going on uh, some Rocky Mountain refreshment, aka ice cold Coors Light, cold package, cold filtered, literally made to chill. If you need a moment to relax, maybe we're sweating it out. Maybe you don't like who your team drafted. Just crack open a nice cold Coors Light. You'll be good to go. You'll have your own moment to chill with a beer that's literally made to chill. You can get Coors Light delivered straight to your door with Drizzly or Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash SGP. That's CoorsLight.com slash SGP. And remember to always celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Kramer joining us to uh, our first ever ceremonial draft prop draft is a uh, fantasy football guru himself. Dalton Cates. Dalton, thanks for coming on the show, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> it is. It's draft week. Now, yeah, it, it starts on Thursday, goes Friday. And if you're watching on YouTube, youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast, you'll see I've turned myself into a big red easy button, Sean, because it is draft week. <laughs> and this year we got a guy with spreadsheets. So let's, what do we, how do we do this? Well, uh, well, I think we're going to decide the draft order. I feel like non snake draft order will be a little easier for simplicity. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And then Whatever. we can, we, we can, can take figure it there. out. Otherwise it's weird. We're constantly picking two in a row. <laughs> yeah. I, that's annoying yeah. as a listener, right? And is the NFL draft a snake draft? No, no, no. Is that, this NFL draft week? <laughs> yes. Yes. Then we're doing an NFL draft. Style. <laughs> Will we be in Vegas? Yes. <laughs> Nothing to do with it, but let's go. All right. Kramer. Uh, why don't you kick things off? You have the, you're on the clock. All right. You're on the clock with the first NFL draft prop draft selection. Number one, Ryan Kramer. What are you going to give me the first pick? Yeah. All right. Give me Desmond Ritter. First round pick minus 125. Okay. I'm firing early. Give me a 125 prop. I know you got this on your list. I'm I'm almost certain you have this on yes. your list because we gave this as a group a show prop. I love. I mean, this is insane. I I think at this point I I would almost take an under on him. Like wherever the Titans pick, give me that under. I think his under is what 29 and a half. Yeah, I say though because the over under is that you're getting like minus 110. I would still get the minus 125 yes. that he goes in the first round just because you want that 30, 31, 32. Again, yeah. it's that whole thing of. Oh, it, it, you get that extra year of control as a quarterback. Team could easily trade up a la Lamar Jackson and snake him. Dalton, you're shaking your head in agreement. You're you're also on board with the idea that Desmond Ritter, he feels like a consensus first rounder right now, right? Yeah, he's getting a lot of buzz um in the first round, and especially at the end too. I love the idea of taking him to be a first rounder over the you know, under because, you know, the lines over there at 32, they could be, you know, taking someone or a team could try and jump them, get that extra year in that contract for uh, the quarterback there. So yeah, no, like, I mean, that's, that's not crazy. If, if they end up going O line D line, even maybe sauce Gardner, whatever they do at number two, and then getting a quarterback there at number one at the end, that completely makes sense. So would not be shocked if that happens. All right, Dalton. Ooh, I like how I went first. That was nice. So, okay. so I'm, I'm the You're on the clock. Now. All right. So, um, I really like this guy. Uh, you may be hearing a little bit more, uh, from me about this guy later, but, uh, Quay Walker plus 200 to be a first round pick. Um, so th- he's probably like the biggest, like market inefficiency right now in the market, in my opinion, in terms of where like NFL teams value him versus like what, you know, the sports books are valuing him right now to get him two to one to go first rounder. I think it's more likely than not. He's a first rounder. He's looking right now, like the, the second linebacker to be drafted, potentially even the first linebacker. Um, he's very wow. athletic teams kind of like him more so. I mean, he's not somebody who really had that college production. We're looking for like someone like Nicobe Dean definitely had that, but athletically those guys don't even compare. And Quay he's Walker a, is an, yeah, he's an elite athlete and um, he won like a, he's like a good citizen. He won like, he, he got like a key to like the city <laughs> for something like the mayor gave it to him. We're not so teams love the Georgia guys. He's one of those guys who is just, you know, they know what they're going to get in terms of off the field things, um, extremely athletic. So he does have upside that you can utilize him all over scheme as a linebacker. And he's someone that, um, you know, I've heard that 
you know, there are teams, you know, maybe even like the Jaguars at 33 may even try and jump in. So you, I've heard that, you know, Jaguars are like him at 33 may, may move up because they think that he may not even be there. There's also other teams in the, you know, the late twenties or even up to the mid twenties that do, that could utilize um, somebody like him. So I really like him at two to one. I think he should be probably like minus 150 right now. So those odds are pretty nice. Uh, the city of Cordell, Cordell. Uh, awarded him the, the key to the city. So yeah, I, I personally don't have any keys to any city, so that's <laughs> impressive. I'm I'm no. impressed. All right, I'm on the clock here. Which, by the way, I like. I wasn't gonna p- play any Quay Walker prop, so I'm glad we brought Dalton on the show. Oh yeah, no Dalton, <laughs> and I I saw him tweet out another Quay Walker prop. Oh, you're yeah. cheating. I was I was I'm thinking of <laughs> I was thinking of stealing it, and you know this is an unscrupulous. You know, maybe I just steal his other Quay Walker well, prop. If Dalton's I'll new to the show, it's very flattering when Sean <laughs> copies your pick and makes it his own. <laughs> hey, you right. got inside sources. <laughs> exactly. Okay, this one, Kramer, we've been all over this one. Uh, the price. Uh-huh. I think, you know, now it's down to minus 150. I, I like it at a number. number. Uh, Malik Willis, first quarterback drafted, minus 150. Again, you just look at the guy, his, his ceiling is just phenomenal. Um, I most athletic quarterback in the class. I think if you're if you're someone drafting a quarterback early, it means your job is on the line. You bring in Malik Willis, he's a job extender because all you have to do is get a little bit out of Malik Dan Willis. Campbell. Yeah, you, all you have to do is get a little bit out of Malik Willis, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, I want to see where this goes. You know, he's that. He's a he's a bathroom remodel, right? You don't have to get the whole thing done in one year. You can just show your wife, oh look, I got tile picked out. I, I'm starting to I'm starting to do something here. That's gonna give you a, a little bit of runway. So Malik Willis first quarterback, minus one fifty, all over that one. Ryan, this is one we've already given out, but worth reiterating here. Uh I lo- I like your angle. Um I mean again, we we have it in the futures prop uh draft. Uh, it just seems I am a little concerned. There's some smoke elsewhere, but yeah, I mean, I, again, my mock draft has him at number two, so super let's fiery go. take. All right, am I, am I up? Yep. All right, let's uh, let's fire again. I, not far from the Ritter angle, but uh, I think the Steelers more than most let everyone know what they're going to do, and I think their draft prices sometimes you can just look at the favorite and be okay with that. I'm going to take the pitch picks. Pittsburgh Steelers to take a quarterback. Ooh. Plus 120. I also like the narrative of their GM. This is his final year. Wants to give the franchise a gift in the form of a future franchise quarterback. People will highlight the fact that Trubisky has a similar deal to Tyrod, little bridge deal. <laughs> so obviously not the solution. I think they take the quarterback uh plus 120. I'm I'm also if I could find this I would play it. I, I couldn't find it anywhere, so I assume you guys won't take it, but Steelers to trade up. I, oh, wow. I really like that. All right, yeah, they're normally not a team that that trades up, but to your point, their their picks always seem to leak out, and it seems all quarterback, a lot tied to Malik Willis. But uh, yeah, uh, taking the quarterback and, at plus one twenty feels like a good number. And to be clear, that's the Steelers' first pick will yes. be a quarterback. Yeah, you're right. And uh, Dalton, what do you what do you think? Are you your co-sign? And it does feel like they're going quarterback, right? Or what have you heard? Well, this is why we create a big board, guys, because that was on my list over there. <laughs> Steve goes take quarterback on the Snake. first pick, and I got sniped. So, uh, how to delete that off the list? There, no, I I love it. Um, like like you know, Kramer hit it on the nail on the head there. Like they're very easy to to figure out what they're doing. We know they like Malik Willis. Um, if he starts to fall to the eight to ten range, could definitely see the move up there. Even if Malik Willis goes and they aren't able to get him, it just seems like they've done so much work on these quarterbacks for someone like either either Pickett or even someone like Desmond Ritter at twenty. Just like you're getting plus money for it. Like, come on, let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, you're on the clock uh, here, Dalton. What do you got? Second right, round pick um, in the NFL draft prop mm-hmm. draft. <laughs> Uh, I know Ryan. Ryan said something about uh, trades, so uh, I'm going to do over three and a half draft day trades in round one, minus one forty three. So love that. eight out of the past ten years, this has hit over, and seven of the past ten years, there's been five or more trades. The average in that span has been five point one, and also really like interesting angle about it is the fact that you know there's never been eight teams to own multiple first round picks. So that, you know, creates a lot of flexibility in terms of, you know, you know, someone like the Eagles, they've yeah. seen 15 and 18. Like if they only like one guy on the board, they can move down from 15, go up to 18, or they could even like, you know, use those pieces to trade up. So there's a lot so of options with to clarify. Teams. It's over three and a half uh, trades just on the first one. day, right? In round, round one. one. Yes. Okay. Correct. 
Not only so, that, but you have the Chiefs and the and the Packers, Packers for example, yeah. who are potentially p- going to trade out uh, mm-hmm. and let someone come back in. So I, I like it on yeah both sides. That's I, are you writing these down, Sean? I'm gonna have to. Oh yeah, a couple of these are gonna have to. No, be, I mean when we're gonna be at the win, make a call. I'm just gonna time. have like a phone book size <laughs> yeah. of uh, tickets, a portfolio ready to go. Say. All right, uh, enough with these minus one tens, <laughs> plus two hundreds. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Let's go big or go home. Devin Lloyd to be a top ten selection at plus seven fifty. Let's go. No. Why you say no? No, I mean I, I like it, but no. Why? No, no, tell me why. Okay. This is where you tell me why. All right. And I was I, being the listener there. <laughs> All right. So a lot of draft Knicks won't have that high on the board, but that's the beauty of it. That's why it's plus 750. You know who does have them high on their board? A team by the name of the Seattle Seahawks. Mm. He cr- checks a ton of boxes <laughs> for this Seahawks team. He, he just fits the profile of the type of linebacker they like. And again, he's been getting more and more steam as the first linebacker to go overall. Also, there's a lot of heat of like in the same way that they use Micah Parsons, super athletic guy, as more of a pass rusher than actually a linebacker. There's a case that that's how you're going to use Devin Lloyd, and I think uh, Devin Lloyd probably owes Micah Parsons. Uh, he's going to end up owing him a couple million dollars because I think how they mm. used Micah Parsons last year got him defensive rookie of the year, almost defensive player of the year is going to skyrocket a guy like Devin Lloyd's value. So top 10 pick overall, in particular, the, the Seahawks may be interested in him. Love the shot here at plus seven fifty. Uh Okay. Dalton. Am I crazy? I, I mean, I bet him too, to go top 10. So oh, wow. there you okay. go. Okay. Exactly. Sean obviously was doing some <laughs> research. Yes, exactly. All right, I'm up. Uh, da, da, da. All right, this is a guy. Uh, ooh, I'm starting to now think a little bit about strategy. All right, a job, a Jabu from Michigan is a first rounder plus one seventy five. I'm firing on this now because I I do think the more that I uh, did my as I was doing my mock draft. It does seem like some team is going to take him uh, again. Accelerated timetable, maybe uh, because of the crazy medicine uh, that we've learned about from Germany, and kids are are crazy. Um, I I think someone pulls the trigger on him. I think someone comes and get him, gets him, and I think someone realizes the you know again this is what a quote unquote deep pass rushing draft. I think some people are going to realize this is one of those top 10 potential guys who they just need to come up and get deal with the fact that he's going to start slow for a se- season and, and, and let him be a franchise changer. Yeah. I mean, you know, plus one seventy five for him to go in the first round, a pass rusher making his way into the first round that that makes sense. And it does seem like they're less and less scared off of injuries of these guys. So yeah, I, I don't mind that Dalton. What do you got for your third round pick here at the first mm-hmm. ever NFL draft prop draft? All right, so this this is the matchup based one. I know, Ooh, okay. uh, I know, you, I know you mentioned some long shots. I'm gonna save those for later because we got to We got to you know, you know, get ten rounds. Work, I got, I got, a, I got a thirty to one. I got a thirty five <laughs> to one. I'm ready to fire on. No, I have a sixty to one. I'm oh, ready. To okay, fire, but not let's not, not, let's not save yet. let's save let's the big save dogs. Us. I'm a little worried. Yeah, I'm having, yeah, yeah. Save the big dogs for like is nine, it cold 10, in 11. here. I don't yeah. have any of them. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> reevaluate my board. All right. All right, so I got a Jordan Davis to be drafted before Kenny Pickett plus one thirty five. So Daniel Jeremiah recently stated he's actually really plugged in with the Ravens. And he basically said, you know, Jordan Davis is not falling past 14. Now, if we look at, you know, someone like Kenny Pickett and we look at his options in the top 14, let's say, right. It's really like Carolina or bus. Like there's really been no teams linked to him. Um, you really have to start looking at either, you know, the saints or even like the Steelers before there's really any team that would become interested in him. And he's not the type of player that you really see a team like trade up for. So recently, um, David Newton hopped on with John Daigle on a show and, you know, kind of hinted that, you know, maybe it's actually Malik Willis would be the Panthers choice at six if they were to go to quarterback. So it seems like they're te- definitely leaning that way if they were to go quarterback or offensive line. So it seems like pretty likely that Kenny Pickett's actually probably going to slide to like the mid to late first round. And Jordan Davis, like, even if he, you know, Daniel Jeremiah says he goes, he's floor is 14. Like, even if he goes, like, it's just pretty likely that he's ahead of Pickett and you're getting plus money on this. So yeah. What was, what was the price? It was plus one, uh, 135. 135. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, you're, you're totally right for Kenny Pickett. It seems like if the Panthers don't take him, then you're then you're talking Saints, you're talking Titans, maybe. Yeah. 
Uh, maybe even the commanders. I, I think maybe the commanders. Yeah. I, I think that yeah, would be can. maybe where you would get screwed because uh, although they did give up stuff so for, it, for Carson Wentz, it seems yeah. like they're probably going to go receiver, but mm-hmm. I, I, I'm just trying to figure out scenarios of how it doesn't hit Saints but. position to come up for a quarterback, whether it's the one that falls yeah. to them or the one that they like sneak up a couple picks for. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, but, but, but to your point, I like that there is kind of a gap there. So I do like the idea of maybe there's a way to play Kenny Pickett's of top 10 pick or yeah. A, a well, later and then also the saints, they've already used kind of a decent chunk of draft capital, even just to make that uh, the move that they did with the Eagles. So I, I don't know how much they have left in the tank as, as far as as a Taysom uh, shareholder in best ball. I'm <laughs> hoping they don't take a quarterback, but I think it might be a reality. All right. And, and I'm not, as we're speaking, as picks are being made, I am <laughs> shuffling uh, thoughts around my big board because now oh, I'm wow. well. Now, now live, that I, live movement, live we're, movement. We're talking about stuff out loud, so I got to reevaluate <laughs> when it needs to happen. All right, my uh, my pick here for the third round in the NFL draft prop draft. I tried to convince Kramer to mm-hmm. make this one of our Coors Light uh, draft day locks, but he he wasn't quite sold. Hopefully, the audience is on board. Aiden Hutchinson over one and a half plus one sixty. Here we go. Here's my case for it is that this feels like a coin toss. So Dalton, if I said I'm going to flip a coin head or tails and I'm going to give you plus 160, <laughs> isn't don't you take that coin toss every day? Give me all the coin toss to the data. That, that yeah, exactly. Awesome. A plus 160. Doug P. How did Doug P win a Super Bowl? Well, you know, they had a great run. Uh, you know, Nick Foles had this magical run. Why? Because Nick Foles played behind an amazing offensive line. Yep. If you're Doug P, how does this thing with the Jags work out? It works out because you get the most out of Trevor Lawrence. How do you get the most out of Trevor Lawrence? You protect him. So you have either the offensive lineman, and then you also have Trevon Walker, uh, who supposedly the GM Trent Balky is saying like he's the next Alden Smith. I love huh, this guy. He's a measurables guy, so he lo- he loves Walker. And mm-hmm. and Aiden Hutchinson, he's got T Rex arms. I mean, you oh, know, wow. I was gonna <laughs> tell I was gonna tell Ryan to bring in the. Uh, you know, I don't have a crazy wings fan, but I, I, I bet you my arm uh, like isn't that much shorter than Aiden Hutchinson. So there's just uh, for like really the highlighting price. how much of an athlete you are. At that Sean point. Green first overall pick <laughs> yeah. is my play. Exactly <laughs> for the price, I, I think it's it's pretty fun. All right, we got plenty more picks to come. I uh, just want to mention Sleeper Baby. That's right, your favorite fantasy app now has a sweet. Over under game. It is. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, especially for the NBA playoffs. We have our own little squad, and uh, it's awesome uh, because basically you can just hit copy someone's picks for these player props. And again, they're parlayed player props. I like doing the three teamer, essentially three player props. Pays out plus six fifty. Uh, you can get as high as twenty x. But it, it, the the cool thing about a joining our squad. You know, moon off super super uh, sharp uh, NBA player prop guy and just player prop in general. All I do is as soon as I see he fires <laughs> off a pick, I just hit copy picks and uh, you know I'm looking to cash here. Besides that, uh, sleeper will match your deposit up to one hundred dollars, dollar for dollar. All you got to do is fire up the sleeper app, click the over under game, use our promo code SGP, hundred percent deposit match up to one hundred dollars. Again, great for uh, day baseball, making that super fun, and of course, playoff basketball. Download that sleeper app. Use the promo code SGP on the over under parlay some over under props. Terms and conditions apply. See sleepers terms of use for details. And also, Athletic Greens. Ryan, we're going out to Las Vegas. Normally, I feel like total garbage. <laughs> Not going to happen this time because I'm bringing my Athletic Greens travel pack, which means 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food. Uh, Source superfoods, probiotics, adaptogens. Again, it's delicious and it's nutritious. Why anything you're not doing that's you're you're not doing it because it's healthy. It's usually because it tastes like crap or it's a huge pain in the ass. Athletic Greens, I assure you, is neither tastes really good, very easy to make. I make it before my coffee every day. It takes like literally thirty seconds. <clears throat> One scoop, six ounces of water, you're good to go. Seven thousand five star reviews, and they are hooking you up. You get a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs. It's enough for a week in Vegas. You 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 might survive Vegas with this. Uh, all you got to do is go to athleticgreens.com slash SGP athleticgreens.com slash SGP. Take ownership over your health and pick up the daily 
a nutritional insurance. Kramer, fourth pick in the draft here. I, I should mention it pairs really nicely with a uh, a humidifier in the room. Yes. AG one. That is. That's the other uh, secret. And now Dalton is. He's not as old as we are. So <laughs> as crafty Vegas veterans, you got to, as soon as you get into Vegas, request the humidifier. Yeah. Although you live, you live in Arizona. So maybe we, you're a little bit more used to the desert. We, like de- we kind of live in a desert too. And it's still dry as shit out there. Yeah. All right. So I, I'm a little concerned about, I thought this was going to be one I could stuff further down my board, but I'm just going to fire on it right now because uh, I'm, I'm hearing Dalton say things like, Jordan Davis isn't going to slip past the Ravens at 14. Ravens take a defensive lineman or edge plus 150. I don't know why this is plus odds. Uh, I everything seems to be them taking uh either an edge, Jordan Davis, just someone, some sort of transformational piece for the defensive line. But I'll be shocked if they don't take a defensive lineman. So to get plus 150, Sean, uh, you know, sometimes the the value just hits you in the face. Like a giant dildo coming down from the <laughs> rafters at Veteran Stadium. So you're you're taking uh sorry, what was the team? What do you mean what was the team? The Ravens, baby. Ravens. Pay attention. No, I, I got you're not, I got uh, nine different windows going. Oh, I'm trying go. to you're, log you're it. You're playing live blackjack again. <laughs> <laughs> Ravens to take a defensive lineman plus one fifty. Or edge, yes. Okay. Yeah. Plus one fifty. Double uh, double check. Your book, as far as like the wording of like, it, because it gets weird with some guys who are linebackers who you think they're gonna play him like well, an edge rusher. Just well, now they now they're pretty good about calling only guys who don't really uh, aren't really edges linebackers. Okay, they've kind of transformed the like the, the, they're doing a pretty good job with the whole edge D line thing. All right, yeah, no, at plus one fifty to Dalton's point, Jordan wow. Davis, they're all over and they they've been linked to pass rushers as well. So, yeah. Ravens going D line at plus one fifty. Yeah, that makes a ton of sense. Thank you, uh, Dalton. What do you got for your fourth round pick here? Um, I'm gonna go similar along the lines of what you said, Sean. I'm gonna go Trayvon Walker first overall. So Ooh. he's plus one seventy. Um, so apparently, like the rumors right now are is that Trent Balky is a Walker guy and Doug Peterson is an Aquano guy. And apparently, we have four guys on their board. Very easy to you know assume that it is Walker Aquano. Hutchinson and Evan Neal. Those seem like the top four guys on their board right now, but who gets the call at the end of the day? It's Trent Balky, And there's a reason they kept him there as much as we may think he sucks. <laughs> um, somehow sneaks his way in there. And you know, his history has shown that he does like guys with athletic traits and Trayvon Walker is a freak athlete. And you know, that type of stuff does translate. So even though it's one of those things where from our public perception, we may not fully agree with, you know, someone like Trayvon Walker going first overall. Like it doesn't matter when we're, you know, trying to bet on it. So I think Trayvon Walker, you know, is at least a 50, 50, if not more likely than Hutchinson based on, you know, Trent Balky's history, his press conference kind of hinted towards, you know, selling the idea that an athletic guy who hasn't had production um, as the first overall pick. So um, I really like that price right now for a uh, Trayvon Walker. Yeah. There's also the narrative of like he stays in SEC country. I, I don't know. This is crazy because the prices are still not suggest. I mean, the prices are well, still and, saying and it's a thirty percent, thirty three percent, whatever. Which, you know, it's not a coin flip. To your point, it's a, it's a lopsided coin flip. But if it's so clear that Balky likes this guy, or they're going to take the lineman, why is Hutchinson still there? Well, and see, yeah. and, and I do like Trayvon Walker at, at that price in and of itself, but. To Agreed. me, the the Hutchinson at plus one sixty is you get a little more. You have a couple more outs, and you're only Could giving up slot, ten cents. Are we are we talking? Does he randomly end up on the Texans? I keep looking at he, Hutchinson to the Texans, and my mind. I don't mm-hmm. think it's too crazy actually, because there's a lot of smoke coming out of uh, Detroit with uh, this whole Thibodeau thing. Yeah. They drafted Sewell last year out of Oregon, so they probably got a good look at a uh, Thibodeau, and apparently the meeting went well. So you never know. You never yeah, know. Yeah, like, Dan, Dan Campbell uh, seems to be like a guy who cares about arm length. You come yeah. in with tiny. <laughs> you come in with tiny arms. Dan Campbell's off. Office. Imagine just a tiny arm guy <laughs> reaching out for a handshake. Yeah. Like a little T Rex arm. Mr. Hello. Campbell, I'd like to be a part of the organization. Get that out of here. Just I just snorted five shots of espresso. Sean, are you, are you, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm a football guy. All right. I got I got plenty more for you. I, I oh, still you. the the Hutchinson, I still like it basically not to be Hutchinson at over yeah. one and a half. 
I don't mind the Trevon Walker, but then if you're taking the over Hutchinson, you get the two linemen offensive yeah. linemen as well. Yeah. You're only giving up 10 cents on the dollar. Well, look um, at you. Uh, look EV at you. play, Ryan. Okay. Another uh, top 10 pick I have. This one's plus 500 Trevor Penny mm. again. This is kind of the pair with the Devin Lloyd top 10, but he is a guy that the Seattle Seahawks are all over. He's he fits their profile height and weight. He's a, he did very well at the senior bowl, which is something they yeah. really seem to seem to care about. He's also like an older player. Um, again, he's someone that like your draft Knicks would be like, Oh, this is a stupid pick, but it's just a classic Pete Carroll pick. And you know, there's a bunch of other teams in the top 10 that could use offensive linemen. If a, if a, if like Neil and uh, Quanu go slightly earlier, they Penning could easily make his way into the top 10 for even the giants. Well, there's a version of the draft where the Panthers take the third tackle. Yeah. And then someone says, I, you know, I, I need to grab one. Yeah. That like, I mean, Penning, I don't have him going that early, but the story may like, like if, if Iquanu goes earlier, uh, the giants are certainly taking one and it sounds, you know, I guess we'll talk. We actually let's, let's, uh, I'm going to stop my point because I don't want to give away a pick. <laughs> well, no, I, I'm just saying there's, there's a bunch of scenarios, even the jets at 10 uh, Seahawks at nine, and even at seven, I could see penning if things break right. And you got a bunch of outs at plus 500 feels like a, a fun value play for sure. Kramer, what do you got? You're up next huh. year. Uh, the Carolina Panthers are taking an offensive lineman. Oh, wow. Plus, I, you know, this is one where I would tell you I got it earlier at a better price, but I, I'm not that guy today. Feeling good. Plus 100 is the current price. Okay. It seems like they're going to sign. I think they're going to bring in Baker or something. They, they might, but McAdoodle must know something because he was <laughs> calling Sam Darnold the starter. And that's well, just, and then it was funny. He said Sam Darnold was a starter. And then, like, two minutes later, said, I shouldn't have said that. I misspoke. <laughs> so that's a real vote of confidence uh, for Sam Darnold. But you're right. Like, all the Daniel Jeremiah insider guys yeah. are saying all the quarterback steam you heard earlier for the Panthers has cooled off. Now, maybe it's. You know, whatever, but um, they certainly need help on the offensive line. I I don't mind this. Yeah, plus one hundred. Uh, uh, yeah, and I think it sounds like they're a big like the. It sounds like the Giants and the Panthers wrote both really like Cross. Uh, I think Cross. Yeah. I think Cross could be the pick here if I, if I'm trying to play a longer shot, like exact match here. Carolina Panthers take uh, Cross. Maybe I'll throw that out, that out later. But I think just taking them, it's still you know even money. I think it's a certainty. It's a mortal lock. This will be minus a million on draft night. <laughs> Give me the Panthers uh, plus one hundred to take a lineman. Yeah, I, I think it's lineman or quarterback, but I do think there's you know especially late like the trends of late are all pointing to not quarterback and and o- offensive lineman seems to make a ton of sense. Dalton, you're on the clock. What do you got? <sighs> all right, um, I'm gonna do Kyle Hamilton over ten and a half draft position. Oh, I just. I just Snake. don't think it's likely that he goes to the top 10. Like <laughs> I just don't understand this price right now. Safeties naturally don't get drafted high um, in the NFL draft. Um, really hard to find a team fit inside the top 10. Like I don't think the jets like him. They have two picks in the top 10. Maybe you can make a case for like the Falcons or the Seahawks maybe, but outside of those teams, which seem unlikely because they have other needs that they need to focus on. Um, someone who ran a four, seven at the combine. If you look at, you know, a few years back when Derwin James, he was projected to go top five, top six, great safety project. He fell all the way to 17. And it's not because he was a bad player. It's because the positional value in the NFL. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the big things that, you know, teams do look at and they do focus. Like it's not one of the biggest positions. And if you're not like a crazy athlete or you can't be extremely versatile or be creative in the way you use him just because of that athletic profile. Um, I think t- some teams will just prefer other positional needs at that position. I think the first spot that he really has a chance is maybe 11 with the commanders, but I don't even know if like that's likely because it looks like they're going to lean towards like, you know, a wide receiver there. So I, I really like that. Like I got it. I'm going to be that guy. I got it <laughs> at a much better price, but I still think, I still think it's one of those things where 10 and a half is the perfect price to get at. And once he gets to 11 and a half and that becomes like a little dicey because you know, then there's some other variables to play, but 10 and a half right now. I love it. And, and you know, he must've been, he must've read my mocks. I haven't going to the commanders. It just feels yeah. like a commander pick Yeah, a Ron Rivera football guy. Uh, we yeah. don't care about 40 it, times, but here's yeah. the thing that's scary. Uh, Pete Carroll, right? Just yep, looking yeah. down the face. I'm like, <laughs> exactly. Ooh, cam chancellor 2.0. I need uh, one of them. Boom. Legion of boom, Legion of boom. 
This like, calm down, the biggest please. wild card. You, kn- <laughs> yeah, the- you know, you don't know what they're going to do. Well, and that's why I think there's some value in these like guys, Devin Lloyd and, and Penning top 10 because of the Seahawks and their kind of unconventional <laughs> old school <laughs> yeah. uh, drafting stuff. Unconventional old school draft style. Nice. All right, here we go. Nah. I'll, all right. I like, <laughs> I, do I give out the plus 450 version or uh, the minus 125, Ryan? What do you I, think? I don't know. Shoot or shoot, John. Shoot right. or shoot. Ahmad Sauce Gardner to be the number three pick at plus four fifty. Lovey Boom. Smith. Him going to the Texans just makes so much sense on so many levels. Uh, I like him also, obviously, to be a top five pick, but I think in particular, I don't see how he gets past three. Like I wouldn't be surprised yeah. people trading up for him. Mm-hmm. They love his consistency, and uh, you know the Texans. You look at their team team needs on PFF, and it just says everything. Everything. Yeah. So. If if a team needs everything, you know, positional value to Dalton's point, you don't see it super high for safety. You do see it for outside shutdown corners, which everyone seems to be saying Sauce Gardner is. And a lot of people are saying Sauce Gardner is the best pick in the entire draft, including Sauce Gardner. Love that confidence. <laughs> so give me give me him to be the number three pick at plus four fifty. Love that. Kramer, how say you? You're I, on the I w- clock. I was uh, I was pulling up the uh, exact position oh, market oh no. for the. Uh, oh, so don't fun! Don't snipe me! Don't <laughs> snipe me! No, I was gonna, I was looking to just to to compound on Sean's oh, yeah. point about. Uh, it is interesting though because if it like what is it if it's not Sauce Gardner because they could not take the a tackle right they could take a tackle they could also take. I'm st- the more and more I think about it, I want to find a, a try. But while we're d- talking, I'm going to find a trifecta one to throw out at the end with Hutchinson going third to to Lovey Smith. Wow! Uh, again, like doesn't isn't there a world where he starts slipping? I'm telling you, someone's trading up to two for a quarterback. I, that's the hot take I have for yeah, this whole. Yeah, we've been on draft. we've been on Malik, Malik Willis, Willis going baby. number two. It, it's okay. st- Steelers. All right, let's you know what, let's <laughs> talk about it. over three and a half quarterbacks first round. Yeah, uh, plus one eighty five. Uh, I I just put out uh, my mock, Sean, and I you know where I have uh, Matty Corral going nineteen. All right, Kenny Pickett twenty. Th- this is this is going over. Bottom line. Yeah, I period. Mean, I I think when we originally talked about this, it was two and a half, and we had given out the over on that, and it was it was like some books pretty have reasonable, it. like minus one forty. I mean, I've seen the over two and a half now is all yeah. the way up to minus two fifty at some spots, so. Yeah, why not get a little plus odds on the on the three fifty? I mean, Pickett and Willis to me are hundred percent lead pipe locks. Ritter, as you I know, would, you gave out first Ritter's rounder. Um, and then I think all it takes is a is a Matt Corral or even a Sam Howell to sneak their way in to get to that four. And I think it comes down to the I, if I had to like say if this team takes a quarterback, this goes over. I think it's the Saints, and I think the Saints did their their maneuvering to take a quarterback. So yeah, Dalton, what do you got here? You're on the clock. You guys are gonna be nervous with these trifecta. So I'm gonna <laughs> throw one out here real quick. Um, nice. I'm gonna do a forty to one. Ooh. First overall pick, oh Trayvon Walker. God. Here we go. This is what you guys call the DJs only. So, yes, let's uh, be go. prepared. Put on, put on your helmets. <laughs> There we go. Uh, Trayvon Walker first overall. Yep. Aiden Hutchinson second overall, and Derek Stingley third overall, Ooh. forty to one. So we know that the Texans definitely are eyeing a cornerback there. Like yeah. I would say, Sauce Gardner should probably be the favorite to go third overall right now. Um, but someone who's been in that conversation has been Derek Stingley, and he's been somebody probably the hottest name right now in terms of like locked in media guys who are like this guy's not leaving the top 10. He's yeah. been, you know, constantly mocked even, you know, to the seven of the giants. And it seems like he's definitely, you know, within range. If we take out the last couple of years, like after his freshman year, this guy was like the best like cornerback prospect in some time LSU guy. And then, you know, we didn't play too much, um, got hurt a little bit, but you know, crushed it at his pro day. So I think he's someone that teams still have a very high, um, you know, very high. Um, what's the word? I'm looking for? Opinion. They, they love him. Pedigree. Yeah. You know, no. They, and they, he they, was. They, they, he was like again. He was a, like Thibodeau, someone mm-hmm. that they were talking about number one overall. It seems like he's fallen a little bit. Injuries. You know, inconsistent play at times. But again, positional value is yeah. completely there, and you could just definitely see teams talking 100%. themselves 
yeah. uh, into him for sure. Hundred percent. One one last thing too, I want to add on to the fact that your Sauce Gardner thing too is, Lovey Smith went out and said you can't win football games without like a good cornerback, and their cornerback, it's disgusting <laughs> over there. So <laughs> if you're the Texans, right, you pick three and you pick thirteen you know, with this Derek steaming stuff, he's not getting there to 13. Like, so you have to ask yourself, am I getting Trent McDuffie at 13 or am I just taking a corner back there? So right now you can get odds of 10 to one for sauce, the same exact with sauce Gardner, 10 to one, or you can get Stingley at 40 to one. I think right now you can get Stingley at plus 700 to go third overall. So why am I not betting 40 to one that, you know, the exact plays out Walker Hutchinson Stingley, which I think could Yep. Happen. Let's go a pizza bet, right? What does Bowser call it? A pizza <laughs> bet. Yeah, pocket change. All right. You got all the course lights you can get with that. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can get a ton. You can just recycle a couple course lights, parlay that into like one of these long shots. <laughs> you know, obviously he has an injury, but everything that's coming out, all the reports, he's so ahead of schedule. To me, it, he seems like the standout uh first receiver. I know we were leading Drake London early on in the process, Ryan, but I think James will uh, Jamison Williams is going to be the first receiver. And to the point, I think he's going top five. No. So I have Jamison Williams no, top five at That's 16 dumb. to one. Let's go, dude. I'm telling you, first off here, here's what's going to happen. Okay. The Let's jets, the jets are not passing on Jamison Williams at if four. They're the Jets. Okay. This is a perfect pick pick for the this. Jets. I would <laughs> he could even go as high as three. Uh to the Texans. Three. <laughs> Let's go. I love Dude, this. if Let's one go. of the cornerbacks go at number two, you don't think the Texans are gonna consider Jameson Williams? No. But really, here's the here's the real juice. The New York Giants oh, at so. number five. Either we'll draft Jameis Williams <laughs> or we'll trade out for someone who is trading up for a franchise changing receiver that is Jamison Williams. Right. Let's go. Kadarius Tony is out. He's on the trade block. Brian Dable knows how do you help a subpar quarterback, aka Daniel Jones? You give him a great receiver. You give him a great weapon. Jamison Williams run right after the catch. I mean, you know, he could take Daniel Jones to starting quarterback levels. Be careful, uh, snapping your neck, <laughs> looking at all the little fires as Top you drive five. by on the NFL freeway. Pat I'll Leonard is a noted uh, twat. Well, covering put the it New York this Giants, way. it's already out there now. You already have these problems with. Uh, I mean, Kadarius Tony's not going to play for the Giants again. Right? Oh, I, again, we we discussed this. Sean Shane has a track right. Uh, Shane. When they when they came in when Bean came into to Buffalo they they cleared the fuck out of that place so <laughs> if Kadarius Tony is a problem yeah then we, you know what we gotta maybe he's gotta go on a little fishing trip and for everyone that's now gonna clown the Giants for getting something back for him after they told him how, how horrible of a first round pick it was <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious listen the past the past we don't look in the rear view. <laughs> Sean, we look in the fucking windshield and we're moving forward. And the Shane train is about to acquire some draft uh, equity in the future about to uh, draft a solid, uh, you know what? Let's just, is it my turn to pick? No, well, I want, I, I mean, since Ryan thinks I'm crazy for a Jameson, oh, I, I, got, I got you off that. Pick. Dalton, oh, you want to hear? No, his no. Show? I, oh, I, yeah. I want Dalton way in Dalton Fifth, 16 to one. Come on. All I'm saying is <laughs> Drinks are on me if this happens in Vegas. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Jamison Williams, top five. He is he is a hot name right now. Teams love him. They know they might have to, you know, get up to get him. And your Giants. I know, I know, Ryan. Look, you're sitting there with your old Giants jersey on right now. They're not taking a wide receiver. I, I you never know. You never know. Kadarius Tony's gone. New regime. Well, what Ryan, happened? you haven't read my mock draft because I have them I, selecting. No, you don't. Yeah. And you have them taking James Williams at five? Yeah. No, I they won't. It. Are both That's tackles gone? gone? Uh, is Charles Cross gone? I think one or two of the tackles are gone. They can I, get him at seven. Don't worry. Yeah, the they James get a tackle at seven. Well, the Panthers good. are taking a tackle. They're not going to risk that. I, I mortal lock the the Giants are not taking. Uh, let's see what you know. What I'm I'm going off my board. <laughs> Screw you. I'm <laughs> going off. A new one on there. Well, you're you're making me do it. I'm going right to the NFC East. Let's New go. York Giants first position uh, drafted. Offensive lineman minus 120. They will not <laughs> risk losing the guy they what like. Is, what is receiver? <laughs> what is receiver? Wait, 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 they will. They will not. Uh, they will not run the risk of of losing their guy to Carolina unless all three guys are there because they like Cross. 
in addition uh, to the other. I think they're going to take Neil, but the pick here, and maybe that maybe that's the better play to just say they're going to take Neil. But offensive lineman minus one twenty, wide receivers uh, twenty to one. Okay, mm. so a running back hundred to one. Dave <laughs> Gettleman not in the building. <laughs> What do you what do you got, Dalton? You're up next uh, on the clock. I, I found him 35 to one. I got Giants take a wide receiver first. Yeah. To one over here. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's even better because I I saw I saw Jamison Williams to be the number five. <laughs> yeah, I don't. What are you guys I, having pre-show calls <laughs> planning this shit? No, this <laughs> no, is that's, fun. This just worked out fun. great. No, this is oh, perfect. You. Uh, for the same mentions. Okay, guys, Kadarius Tony's gone. New regime. What happened to Josh Allen? When they got a wide receiver, the moment Sky they got Rocket. Stephon Diggs, you could Diggs, have, say his first two years in the league was not that good, and then Stephon Diggs comes in and he just takes a monstrous leap. I don't know if Dana Jones is their future, but regardless, you have to surround it with weapons. They were one of the worst wide receiver groups in the league last year. That's when they signed Kenny Galladay. You know, Sterling Shepard's coming off to Achilles, and then you got Kadarius Swing. Like that's a massive need for the team. And they're in a range in which they can absolutely take one. So whether it's Jameson, whether they like Drake London, whether it's Garrett Wilson, that could be an absolute position. <laughs> and here's also the thing. The Panthers <laughs> at six are a very interesting team that could trade back. And Scott Federer last draft traded back four times. They don't have a second. They don't have a third round pick. So they were absolutely in the market to trade back. So if the Giants are worried about a team jumping up to potentially take a wide receiver ahead of them, and let's say they have Neil and Iquanu both available to them at five, why don't you go wide receiver? Let one of those tackles fall to you at seven, and then take one there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, I, I was just I, I, man, the the it, eye rolling uh, that Kramer had I'll, going. Here's the here's the way this happens. I'll explain how how the Giants end up with a wide receiver. They end up uh, doing some sort of deal with the Saints. Saints come up for a quarterback. Maybe the Steelers come up for a quarterback, and they end up picking in that uh, late teens, twenty range where. They could maybe, maybe I could see them taking uh, someone like uh, I don't know, Traylon Burts, Doc Dotson, maybe. I I just, yeah, I maybe I'll be wrong on this one. I I don't I don't see it. I, I don't see it. <laughs> well, you didn't have them drafting Kadarius Tony. You're last right. Year, you're right. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not inside the building, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Um, you yeah. mocked Jamison Williams, the Giants at five. Yeah, I'm trying to win some Fuck money, it. Ryan. <laughs> I, you know, I'm a hot take machine. I, I, I didn't not, I did not see that coming. That's amazing. Uh, who, who you got, Sean? All right. Uh, I'm top five to, to the giants. Wow. Okay. You don't think, you don't think there's a chance he goes top five. dude. He's plus plus one twenty five now to be top 10. Mm -hmm. So the steam I is agree. real. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm just, I'm a I market reader. I I'm a market analysis. <laughs> yeah. I'm a market reader. All right. We've, we've, I've already <laughs> kind of given out different versions of this, but uh, again, I think there's a real version where Doug P gets his way and Aquanu is the first player selected mm. at 12 to 1. I mean, if you think about it, imagine I'm giving you 12 to 1 for the first overall pick. They just signed Doug Peterson. I know Balky is the GM. Yeah. He ultimately has the say, but they brought in a new head coach. They're looking for an experienced ear. And I think Khan, as much as um as much as he has let Balky keep his job, at some point, he's got to think like uh, you bring in Doug P to settle the storm, right? Yeah. So I think there's a world where the owner may even step in and be like, "Hey, this guy just won a Super Bowl. You're Trent Bulky. When it comes to this, if we're split, Doug P is the tiebreaker." And I don't. To me, that's not a crazy scenario. It's clear. I, I think they like Aquanu more than Neil by everything I've read. And at twelve to one, I'm willing to take that risk. So yeah, give me Akeem Aquanu. At twelve to one. Although Ryan, I did try and find it a Akeem Aquanu first, uh, Malik Willis second, and that was off the board oh, as far why? as the scenario. I, I wonder why. <laughs> uh, real quick, sorry, we're, too, we're in too deep. Yeah, maybe you're right. Jameson Jameson Williams over under is twelve and a half. You think he's going five? That's like it's it, even money each but each way. Lead pipe lock, Sean. Oh yeah, don't. It's on my oh, list. Sorry, I just think it's more fun to give him out top five at sixteen to one. Obviously, I like him on his under too. Unbelievable. So I just gave out a Quanu first player selected. I mean the the, the we were on that on a long things. time ago. Yeah, I I still think there's value in it. I know they re all that happened was they you know basically gave uh, Cam Robinson they they kind of extended his deal, but like 
dude, they need an offensive line. I I think it's crazy to overlook um, a Kwanu here. So uh, especially at the price agreed. I mean, especially because you have the quarterback, like you have the yeah. guy you invested in. Uh, all right. Is it my turn, Sean? Let it ride. All right. Yep. So we think cornerbacks are going to be taken at a premium. I don't know if I want to play the sauce Gardner over under or the Stingley with it down to nine and a half now. But Andrew Booth Jr. over under Ooh. 28 and a half. Give me the under plus 110. Getting a little positive juice there. I I don't again, I think they're probably we're probably right. Like teams understand that the best way to defend in the league now is to have cornerbacks that can cover. And I don't see how he slips past the Bills at 25. So 28 and a half plus 110. I, I, again, we, you know, we we like McDuffie to go pretty earlier uh, or pretty early and I think you're just going to you're probably going to have I think I think the thing I'm not like Stingley's probably going to go super early, which means the dominoes will start falling. Yeah. And and I, I thought about giving out the uh, positional prop. Actually, we'll maybe we'll save that for later. I'll stop talking again. But Andrew Booth <laughs> uh, under 28 and a half for his 28 draft. 28 and a half feels high. Plus 110. Now, on this one, are you are you trying to find if you can find it Andrew Booth just to be a first round pick and given and like let's say maybe that would be priced at minus 130? I'll find it right now. Cuz I do I do like He's minus some of the, 175 to be, Oh, that's no. that's almost See, too big of a swing. Yeah, I, I think we're good. I think we're good at 28 Not, and a half. Don't hate that one. Dalton, what do you got? You're in the eighth round here. All right, back to Quay Walker. Uh, nice. Sixteen yes. to one, first linebacker taken. Wow. Yeah. So I think Devin Lloyd has a very like, very wide range of spots he can take. So I think I think as high as nine, but it's really hard to pinpoint a spot. You know, maybe if the Eagles at eighteen. Um, but it gets, it gets kind of dicey after that. And once you get to like the twenties, that's where it becomes personal preference. And someone like Walker is a little bit more athletic comes from higher credit degree. You know, you're getting off the field from him may not be the better player, but there'd be, there could be teams that could easily convince themselves that, Hey, I can develop this guy into a great player. And Tom Pelissero, as of a few weeks ago mentioned that Quay Walker um, could potentially be the first linebacker drafted. So 16 to one, I like this. Also, another thing too, is someone like the Cowboys um, always does pre-draft visits and dating back to 2012, they've drafted um, one of their top 30 visits um, in the first round. Mm. And Quay Walker is one of those guys. So he's definitely somebody who could be picked there. Um, he's somebody that I think the market's way too low on and 16 to one. I'm, I'm all over that. Yeah, no, that's a lot of fun. I mean, and he's, he's gotten, I don't know. I feel like he's, he's one of those guys that maybe the, you know, there's a difference as far as like what NFL teams think of him and, and kind of where the market is uh, to your point earlier. He he feels like a textbook version of that. Uh, For me, I'm going to go to the uh, running back props. And I feel like we gave out Ryan. What did we give out? We gave out Spiller first running back selected, right? At plus five hundred. Six fifty. Six fifty. That price has gone. That's gone down to plus five hundred. And I also think plus oh, you must be looking somewhere else. I'm seeing first running back Isaiah Spiller now up to fifteen to one. Really? Brees Hall minus two seventy five. Kenneth Walker plus two hundred. Wow. Okay. Cause I, uh, oh wait, what is that? Are you looking at the second running back selected prop? Is that (laughs) possibly? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I was like, that's crazy. Um, Oh, Sean thought he got one past us. We were going to make fun of him. I should have let him go. God damn it. (laughs) Why would they have the second running back selected above the first running back? It's a little confusing. I'm going to go back to a fun, long shot. You were just talking about the linebacker market again. I ca- I mentioned it with uh, Devin Lloyd going top ten. I also think there's, you know, the Seahawks really could pick this guy. Um, Devin Lloyd number nine pick overall at plus three thousand. Oh, again, it's shit. thirty to one for. I mean, you look at the Seattle mock drafts. Every other mock has Devin Lloyd in there. Like, I'm not crazy. It's crazy to me that that it's thirty to one. Like, uh, I don't know. I mean. I can bring up the. Um, well, let me just bring up the uh, the the other options that they have at nine. Again, assuming 
assuming they stay where they are. Uh, you know, they have Evan Neal plus two seventy five. I'd be surprised if he makes it all there. Charles Cross, maybe, but again, I think Penning is the guy they like more at that spot. Um, Stingley, I don't think will be there. Malik Willis, I'd be surprised if Seattle takes a, a quarterback. It seems like they're gonna stick it out with um, you know, with Drew Locke, at least for this year. Like, I don't know, Devin Lloyd at 30 to 1, he fits the profile of the type of guy that they would want to draft. I mean, what what's more likely? Desmond Ritter at 20 to 1 or Devin Lloyd at 30 to 1? Some of the some of these pricing for these exact options are pretty crazy. <laughs> Disgusting. All right, we got uh, some more to go. How many Here, more rounds do we have? Two. Well, yeah, essentially Ish. we have we've given out twenty four NFL draft props, yeah. so we got eight more to go. I may crowbar in some bonus ones uh, here at the end yeah. and just unload unload the big board before we get to that. Want to shout out IP Vanish? You're looking to make your IP disappear. You need to hide your location. Hey, you don't you don't need to explain to me why you need to hide your internet activity. That's between you and the internet. Why not make it safe? Why not make it secure? You're using coffee shop Wi-Fi, or or you just want to you know keep people out of your business, uh, keep your passwords safe. There's so many great reasons why you should use a VPN, and we use a VPN here at the office. It's great for streaming, hiding your location. Highly recommend IP Vanish, unlimited devices, and uh, they don't slow you down. That's that was always a concern with the VPN. IP Vanish does not slow you down, and they offer seventy percent off. Their yearly plan that is a great deal, thirty uh, day money back guarantee. All you got to do is go to ipvanish.com/sgp, seventy percent off. ipvanish.com/sgp, and of course, stable duel. If you're looking for a little extra action on the, uh, let's say you're watching, you know, day three of the draft on Saturday, fire up the uh, old TVG monitor. I know, Ryan, we're going to be out in Vegas. You're going to be w- looking at some of the horses. While we're also <laughs> watching the NFL draft, so stable dual horse racing DFS simplified. The app is free. It's easy to use. It's easy to get going. They have free games. So you can figure out how to play. We got a ton of horse racing content on the site. Horse racing pods on their way as well. Download now at stableduel.com and see how many winners you can pick in your stable. I'll see you in the winner circle. Play, race, win. Kramer, you're back on the clock. Sean, by the way, I didn't, yes. re- I haven't really put any mental energy into this, but uh, we we are going to get to hang out at the sports book and watch the draft. Yes, uh, we won't be working. That's this is fabulous. It is fun. Yeah. So, uh, real quick scheduling note: we're going to be doing our um, our live mock draft on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Pacific. Our contributor draft. Everyone in the SGPN network representing the different teams. And then uh, Thursday night of the draft, three to five p.m. Pacific, we're doing our live draft countdown show, getting you ready for the NFL draft. Chris Long, Will Blackman, a bunch of fun guests will be there as well. So it, it's going to be a great time. Awesome. <laughs> Are you ready for my number? <laughs> I mean, I, you, you know, really sold it, Ryan. Uh, awesome. Uh, I I didn't hear my name on the uh, the marquee. Uh, <laughs> number nine pick. All right. Matt Corral, second quarterback taken, sixteen to one. Ooh, wow. okay. I I am sold on the fact that the Saints are going to draft this guy. I fell down a ra- a Reddit rabbit hole, Sean. <laughs> yeah. You know how these go. Yeah. And I am convinced the Saints are taking Matty Corral. I and think sixteen to one. Sixteen to one to That's be the second price. quarterback taken. Feels like even this late into the process, a good price. Why? Why couldn't Kenny Pickett slide here? Uh, and, and all the steam around the Pittsburgh Steelers loving Willis, liking Ritter. Uh, we know some other teams fancy Ritter because of his work on the whiteboard, Sean. Yeah. Something that uh, Justin Fields failed to do. What did uh, what is Ritter at second quarterback select? I should note uh, plus five fifty. Okay, it is funny when I hear a draft Nick say uh, teams like Desmond Ritter's mobility. <laughs> He's not mobile. Uh, number eight on Colby Dance lawn chair quarterback. So you're gonna want to check that out before you you buy any of that action. <laughs> Matt Corral, sixteen to one, second quarterback. Yeah, and and you know the knock on Corral is some maturity issues. You know, I, I don't know, man. It's Jameis can take him under his wing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how you steal crab legs, Matt. Uh, at sixteen to one, you're right. That seems like a a pretty nice price. And again, the more you read about Kenny Pickett. His numbers were kind of inflated due to like a weak ACC defensive uh, front he faced. 
he he fix he fits like the classic bus thing. The more I look at it, of a, a super senior, basically the only reason he he really popped is in this fifth senior year at, at a weird school. Advan- small ad- hands, advantage and- advantage offense. The small hands, you know, always a problem. I, I think just in general, right? Uh, we heard Dalton say uh, market inefficiencies earlier, but a lot of times what you find is in a serious favorite situation. Your instincts might be, well, let me take one of the dogs to be the first quarterback taken. Maybe that's fool's gold, and maybe the, the maybe the better way to attack it is look at the second quarterback because you can still get the variance without having to worry about chalk killing you. Because it is crazy to think Kenny Pickett is chalk here at minus one forty. Yeah. Well, and especially it seems like early on it was, oh, the Panthers they're one hundred percent going to draft Kenny Pickett, and now it doesn't seem like that's the case. At all, a so. fun a fun long shot would be to take Sam Howell to go ahead of Kenny Pickett. Ooh, that would be crazy. It, like, but wh- you know, what if no one likes Kenny Pickett? And it was just like a Matt Rule's <laughs> wife yeah. thing again. Like, what? well, if no one likes Kenny Pickett, I mean, again, if the Panthers don't draft, have him, you read anything about a single team loving Kenny Pickett? No, I no. threw <laughs> in my mock. Um, let me just double check and. <laughs> <laughs> Check your work, Sean. But no, I, I think uh, sh- surprisingly, you know, you hear teams like Ritter. I've re- like I said, I fell in a, a rabbit hole where the Saints really like uh, Matt Corral. I've not really read anything other than that Matt Rule recruited Kenny Pickett, which <laughs> that was a long time ago, bro. I, like people I, change. I think a, a dark horse team, and again, my draft is mostly dark horse stuff. <laughs> but There's nothing um, with long shots. Th- yeah, because I'm trying to get paid. It's more fun. I I actually had the Falcons drafting Kenny Pickett. I think there's an interesting case Ooh. where Arthur Smith could talk himself into Kenny Pickett again. Kenny Pickett's weakness is maybe like arm strength and like raw physical ability, which but you're playing in a dome. Atlanta uh, believes they're good with Mariota and they need met weapons. I'm convinced. I, of that. I, that's certainly a scenario, but I think they could quietly be in the mix okay. for a quarterback. That's and why that over three and a half quarterbacks is such a lock. But I, I do, I, I do want to hunt now for a Kenny pick, like something where Kenny Pickett slides hilariously far. Yep, hundred percent, hundred percent. No, I, I, I'm with you. I, I again, someone could, would take him thirty two just to have the extra year, though, right? No, I, I think mm-hmm. a lot. <laughs> I, that's what I, that's what I imagine being the Desmond Ritter thing, but. The more we talk about this, the less I think uh, teams are again. Gonna, again, yeah. please reach out to me if you can give me any sort of evidence of any team being documented as saying they love Kenny Pickett. Few and far between. Dalton, you have the honor of the twenty-sixth pick in the first annual NFL draft prop draft. Let's stay on brand here. Uh, Kenny Pickett over twelve and a half. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, Is that the number? Jesus. What what, yeah, what do you no, see? It's the, crazy. It's what do you see his crazy. price at? Uh, minus one twenty five. Okay. So minus one twenty five over twelve and a half. Like, like like Ryan said, if I can get odds on whether he's even a first round pick at like ten or fifteen to one, like give me that. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. I think maybe like the Titans are a backstop, or maybe if the Steelers or Saints. I think like those are legitimate teams, but. Outside of that, I don't know how interested the Lions are. I know the Lions do like Malik Willis. I just don't know if they like him enough to take him second overall. Um, so I'm not sure if they're too interested in the rest of this class. Maybe they could take him at 32. So you really got like four teams. Um, unless like the Packers do something crazy again and draft another quarterback in the first round. But you never know what's going to happen with that. But I don't know. I, I just think there's very few outs inside the top 12 for Kenny Pickett. I don't see a team trading up for him. This line should be probably closer to like 16 and a half where the saints first pick is to be honest. So yeah, I love it right now. Uh, yeah. I, I do think his backstop is the Steelers because the Steelers for like, how do they not do that? But I think the scenario where he slips, the Steelers have already traded up to get their guy. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. If they get Willis, Willis ahead, yeah. like I don't think let's say, let's say the Steelers trade up, right? And they get, they're going to get Willis if they trade up. Exactly. What happens to big of that scenario? Who I, knows? yeah, I mean, I don't, I, it is interesting because he could, you know, you, 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 you want to think a team's going to want to jump up and, and grab that extra year of control. But if they don't yeah. view him as a, a bona fide starter, even, yeah. uh, you know, we're, I mean, cause most of these guys, you, you talk to, you know, you talk to the draft grade guys and, and most of these guys are like second, third round grade quarterbacks already. Yeah. 
So sure. you're already putting the premium and, and pushing them up into the first round. So it's not the craziest thing to, and, and again, like Sam Howell's kind of the forgotten man here and some team could convince themselves. They like, they like his mobility. They, they, they like what he flashed. So I, I don't know. I, I like, I like kind of playing some variants there and, and Kenny Pickett over 12 and a half. It's like, what well, you only have to really dodge one, one bullet. It seems. Yeah. That's and it seems, seems like if Carolina doesn't go quarterback, you're, you're, you're flying uh, pretty nice. All right, mm-hmm. Sean. Yes. I am on the clock. Uh, give me Jahan Dotson to be a first round pick. I oh, love it. Love at, it. What's uh, the price? Uh, minus one forty five. I, I was going back and forth mm-hmm. on the over under is like minus one thirty at thirty one and a half or thirty and a half. I'm taking him just first rounder at minus one forty five. There's you know a couple teams at the end of the draft. Uh, I I think he's a perfect uh, fit for the Tampa Bay Bucks. I mean, if you're Tom Brady, part of you know you agreeing to come back to play is a get rid of Bruce Arians. Uh, you know, I'm essentially going to be the head coach. I'm also going to have, <laughs> I mean, obviously this went down. We, all the Miami yeah. stuff's leaking mm-hmm. out and essentially the, his, him going to Miami, which we were on and we we're trying and we were giving that out that he was going to end up a dolphin. It basically all blew up because of Brian Flores, lawsuit, because he, sh- you know, they were going to trade for Sean Payton, bring him in. And they couldn't do that because it would look horrible to bring in a white head coach with the whole thing. So all that Which means that- is why you got it. Todd Bowles is down to 20 to one, <laughs> like not fucking around here. They, they got rid of Arians and put Bowles there so that people wouldn't be looking at the fact that Brady was <laughs> got to get slotted into an executive role. The dolphins just because yeah, he's a white he was quarterback gonna get ownership. It, so- it looked crazy. <laughs> Anyway, all that being said, I think Brady has a, a strong voice in who they draft in the first round. He's not some punk like uh, Aaron Rodgers that's going to be crying on the Pat McAfee show because they didn't draft a receiver in the first round. Antonio Brown is gone. Who is a good receiver that's kind of a perfect fit for Brady? I think Jahan Dotson really could be that guy. And they have the Penn State connection. Godwin can take. Uh, Dotson under, you know, bring him under his wing, a fellow Penn State guy. Like, it makes a lot of sense. And I think Brady would be all over. Him. Version 2.0 of my uh, mock that's probably going to drop uh, tomorrow. I, I think he's going to be, I think the Packers take him. I think, mm-hmm. I think you're the pa- right. So Packers could take him. Uh, Chiefs at 29, Chiefs at 30 could take him. So, like, 27, 28, 29, 30, Bucks, uh, Packers, and then Chiefs twice. I could all see the uh, be an interest in Dotson there. Yeah, I mean, I would rather I would take Dotson over Christian Watson, but that could be just because I hate North Dakota State and everything it stands for. <laughs> Hashtag when sucks. All right, Sean, let's have some fun. You know the listeners like a good uh, Sean pronounces a name. Yes. All right, so the pr- the 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 edge rusher from Purdue, George Karloftis. Oh, yeah, okay. come on, dude. I'm not a complete idiot. Well, you've you've done much worse oh, with come much on. less. Karloftis, yeah, come uh, on, that's Greek, right. uh, Greek my, stuff. Uh, I know, uh, uh, yeah. I know, so I know how to say hero. Yeah, right. oh. uh, under nineteen and a half, okay. plus one thirty-five. I mean, I I think he's an option to go to the Ravens. Uh, feels like a Ravens type of player. I think there's a, a couple other teams, uh, clear spots, and I think with the uh, the the prop that Dalton gave out early in the show over three and a half draft day trades, uh, I think with the volatility, you're gonna see someone grab this guy. I, it's hard for me to to see him again. This is another one where I just like with Booth, I think the number is is very clearly high. So uh, let's smash the under. Uh, I think he. I'll, I'll predict he goes uh, fourteen in the fourteen to seventeen range. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the Eagles take a shot on him. No, that really didn't work out. I, I saved that because I thought you were going to completely destroy the name. I don't know. Oh no, my, Coach, my bad. Guys. I've, my I've bad. been hearing a lot about George Karloftis. <laughs> uh, Colby and I were doing some tape work on Karloftis. Oh my goodness. So I'm just, very familiar just with him. Taunting me right now. <laughs> Dalton, what do you got? All right. So we got two, two more. You two got more? two more picks left. All yep. Right. I'll, I'll I'm odd my, man out here. Save my sick one for last. Um, over uh, three and a half Georgia players drafted in the first round, minus oh, yeah. one thirty-seven. So we got two locks here, right? Trayvon Walker, Jordan Davis, and then we have five guys who could potentially be first round pick: Lewisine, safety, Quay Walker, who already mentioned, uh, Nicobe Dean, also linebacker. We got Devonte Wyatt, 
and who's the last guy missing? Pickens. Pickens. Pickens yes. is the last guy right there. So all five of those guys are legitimate, like borderline first round guys. You only need two of them to hit. And it seems like with the wide receivers there, George Pickens would certainly go there. Apparently the Lions really like Lucene and he's going potentially 32. Um, another team, you know, maybe like the Buffalo Bills or the Bengals could use another safety. Um, Devontae White's another pass rusher too, who has some off field concerns, but you know, talent wise, probably a top 15, top 20 guy in this class. Um, there's, there's a lot of scenarios in which this does hit. And I think minus 137 for three and a half is pretty, pretty nice. Did, did you hear Dalton mispronounce? Uh, he went to school at the University of Georgia. Off field concerns. <laughs> yeah. A little slight mis- I mean, you know what? I, can I just pile on that one? Because yeah, I like Lewis seen for at, at the second safety to be selected plus 275. Uh, again, t- tons of chalk that Dax Hill is going to be the guy in a safety market that already we think they're going to, it's going to slide down the, the board heavily. Uh, you mentioned the lions love this guy. And I, if they don't trade out of that pick, I could very well see them. T- I, I'm, if it's not a quarterback, the, mm-hmm. uh, I could very much see them taking the safety here. Plus two seventy five to be the second safety taken. I like that, Sean. That's almost three to one. There, there's some value being extracted here live on air. Yeah, wow. And uh, I and I I said you were okay to do it, but you, I realized you draft jumped right in front of me, right? Uh, yeah. In the draft, what if I wanted that? Oh, I'm sorry. All right, you weren't going to take it. No, I probably wasn't. I was trying to keep I do the, like that or, the organic uh, chemistry and uh, conversational <laughs> uh, nature of the podcast going. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was. It was exactly Thank what. You. Um, you know, we gave this out. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'll close just because it's so controversial. But give me Jamison Williams, <laughs> number five pick, <laughs> aka the Giants, thirty-five to one. <laughs> Got to go out with a bang. You knew I was going to come back to my dog, Jamison Williams. The guy's dog. just a straight dog. At no at thirty five. I, I do. I, I. You know. Part of me hopes so, so, the this will be fun. I, does it have to be to the Giants or just the number five pick? No, number five pick. Mm-hmm. So again, I wouldn't be. Sh- he seems like a guy. Do you know how aroused I'm going to be in the sports book at the win <laughs> if the Giants have traded back for some picks next year, uh, and, and position themselves in the middle of the first round with maybe a couple picks from the Saints. Um, <laughs> Uh, that's uh, giant. Well, we already got the Saints first round pick, so right. Can we? Can Good we? Luck. Can we? I need to find a bet. Giants trade with the Saints on draft day. <laughs> um, yeah, that certainly could be. Uh, let me. You know, I'm trying to figure out the way to the best way to bet this, and it kind of comes back to uh, Dalton's point about the over uh, three and a half on the Georgia players. I swear that Devonte Wyatt is going to be drafted by the Chiefs. Like the, they are just perfect for him. They love drafting guys with serious character flaws. They would love a guy like him. And if he falls to the end of the first round, it's, it's crazy. He's minus um, the Packers like him too. Yeah. He's minus 300 to be a first round pick. But I think if you can find uh Devonte White to go to the chiefs, the problem is like a lot of these bets are who will the chiefs take first with their first pick, which mm-hmm. is tough because they have right now they have back to back picks. So you wouldn't want to get screwed by taking Devontae Wyatt to be their first pick and then Yeah, and you know where his numbers are right at right now? Twenty nine and a half. So yeah. splitting the difference between the, the Chiefs picks. Yeah. So I would just if you can find Devontae Wyatt to go to the Chiefs, I like that as a prop. Not an official pick because I can't find it yet, but if you can find that, I uh that one's really fun. Well, and, and yeah, so defensive lineman edge is plus three hundred. Wide receivers plus one twenty. They pick back to back picks, so they can really fuck some some people. Yeah, I would just that, not. I would not bet either of those to that point because it's like, and really, be, I think if they were going to, if they're gonna pick Wyatt, I think they would almost go out of their way to make him the second pick, <laughs> just as like, all right, this Chip is your punishment. You're yeah. you're not going to get the first pick. You're our second pick. As some like differentiating factor, I could see them doing something like that. Uh, but yeah, Devontae Wyatt, he's minus three hundred to go in the first round. So you look at all these, you know, like crazy minus odds on all these Georgia players. I'm surprised it's only three and a half. That feels way too. With long. all the control Kansas City has, I wonder if ESPN's going to have another uh, rant about how uh, gambling is a dangerous, uh, oh, dangerous future with sports. 
the Chiefs can really control some people's destiny here with their prop bets. Yeah, Woj really. Uh, what a loser. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll we'll have to maybe do a deep dive at some point. But where it's almost like it was uh, pre-planned by no one but him, and he he clearly is unaware of how gambling works yeah. in any sense. It's unbelievable. Uh, this this anti-gambling rant is brought to you by uh, Win Bet. <laughs> or like, I mean, you know, it's like I'm sure whoever was sponsoring that Draft show, Kings. yeah, was also. <laughs> Was also a gambling company. Uh, All right, Dalton, you are closing out the first ever NFL draft prop draft brought to you by SGPN and win bet. What do you got here, Mr. Relevant? All right, let's do it. Um, Rams first position that they take is a kicker, punter, or a long snapper at 60 to 1 odds. Oh my god. What do you guys know about the punt god? Oh yeah, uh, he, a ton. He is one of the best punting prospects we've seen in some time. Fourth round grade, I hear. Yes, Rams first pick to the end of the third round. <laughs> and who do they lose this year? They lost Hecker. They or lost Hector? Johnny. Oh wow! All Sixty right. to one. Sean, write yeah. this one down. Yeah, this one's going in look, the book. Look, if you're Sean McVay, you're on a win now team. You got everything you need. You can sign any veteran you want for a minimum deal. They want to come to your team, right? But you know what you can't sign? The punt gun. You need to draft him. Third round, sixty to one odds. Oh Why man! Not? Why not? And, and you know, can you imagine Sean McVay walking around the office, is going to ownership? Hey, hey, you gotta, you gotta see this guy. You gotta see the tricks I've taught him. He's look great. Look at this guy. guy. Oh, look at this guy. Look at the way he punts. He's definitely gonna hit the screen. He's gonna hit the screen for sure. Look at this guy. So strong. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, reminder: head over to propswap.com. Use that promo code SGP. Perfect place to buy and sell sports bets. You can. Get in some NFL draft action, NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs, dollar for dollar match over at PropSwap.com. Promo code SGP. You know, with the Rams, they're. Uh, I love. I love that bet. I want to. No, make that, that that's great because it's such a Rams bet. I mean, Les Snead wore a like "fuck them picks" shirt. Uh, like he loves that. So, what better way to say "fuck them picks" than by drafting a punter at the end of the third round? I, I agree. Can I can I uh, can I throw something out? I sure. know we're out of props, but I, yes. I had one extra one that we didn't get to. Go but, for it. Uh, I mean, Debo is Debo going to get traded? I don't know. I mean, we had on uh, Robbie Gould who requested a trade, did not get one, ended up resigning. But to me, it, it seems like the 49ers and Dalton, feel free to chime in. But what I've uh, what I'm hearing, what I've read. Is that it's less about the uh, the money with Debo? Like he's just pissed that Kyle Shanahan makes him run the ball all the time. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean it, he's 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 fucking uh, what what does he say? He's Kilmer's black workhorse. Yeah, I mean Debo wants out. Niners are going to trade him. They're going to get something in return. Debo still has some control left. Niners first pick is a wide receiver. Ooh. Is plus one eighty five. I. I don't think that's the correct price because if they if they make a deal, like what are the chances they get a late first round pick for Debo Samuel? Pretty solid. Yeah, you could, De- you, Tyree Kill went for that. I mean, you could argue you that can Debo- get more than that. I mean, if I'm oh, the Eagles, I'm oh. giving the 18 pick or uh, maybe in the 15. I I think you can certainly uh, if you're the Chiefs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're the Chiefs, are you working a deal up right now for 29 or 30? They have two first rounders. Abs- give them both. If you're the Chiefs, do you give up 29 and 30 for Debo? Oh, I don't, think, I don't think they'll do it. And here's why: is because Ooh. if they weren't willing to sign Tyree Kill to a massive True. extension, yeah, it's I, a money I, thing. So that, that that's the thing is, I think the Packers and the Chiefs, two teams that are out there, could make it tough. And one thing too is, as I've heard that the Niners have put the price so high on Debo, where like it's basically just like an F you if you like try and offer like this. Ain't, this ain't happening. And you know they'll probably try and work it out with him. Like, and also here's also the thing too is if Debo's unhappy with his role now, he's almost like wanting to like choose the place where he goes to. Because what if he's unhappy with his role here? Like, doesn't he want to choose the place that he goes? And what if he goes to another role where they utilize him the same way? Like, I think there's a lot of like things to figure out, and especially like a week heading into the draft. Like, for me, I'm very skeptical on it happening right now. Like, I think it definitely it's probably more likely to happen after the draft than it would during the draft, just because of the fact that. 
Well, yeah, because he, he ultimately he he doesn't have a no trade clause, I don't think, but he ultimately kind of does because no one's going to trade for him unless he agrees to sign the extension. So yeah, exactly, just exactly. looking right here, I have no idea what the Bucks cap situation is, but they do pick twenty seventh. Uh, the, the Bucks Ooh, okay, uh, okay. Tom Brady, I think he's trying to win now. Um, unless Ooh, he's, that he's got that would be fun. I'll say that. I, I'm sure he could pick up the phone and be like, "Hey, bro, we yeah. ain't going to make you run the ball if you don't want to." Yeah. Uh, all right, that'll do it. All right, thanks uh, a lot for uh, Dalton coming on the show. Course, Make sure guys. you give him a follow on Twitter at Dalton Guru FF for the fantasy football. Make sure you enter our draft props contest, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash draft or the contest button in the SGPN app. And reminder, draft week is here. We're gonna be doing live shows from the win Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Midweek craps. Let's go. Yes. Weekday craps <laughs> will be in effect. Tomorrow, we're gonna to give you a NBA playoff pod. Tuesday, oh. gotta hit the USFL wet before we head out to the desert. One more week of unders, Sean. One more week of unders. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green. He is Ryan. Sean, we literally just did a 32 team draft. Kramer, let it ride.